Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I'm going to be showing y'all how to uh, incubate rhino beetle eggs. This will be a short video, not very long. I'm assuming under five minutes at least, probably even shorter. So right here I have a couple Strategus Eloias eggs. I found them last night. Nine of them to be exact. So here's what you would do to make uh, an incubator for rhino beetle eggs. So here, you probably want to use the original substrate. This is the original substrate I found to be legs in. Compact it pretty tight. Not You don't want to loose it all because if it's loose, it could collapse and easily kill an egg. So, yeah, keep it nice and tight. Keep it moist. And then what you want to do is use a small projected object and poke holes along the sides so you can monitor them at all times. In this case, I have nine eggs, so I have nine holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. And so here's how it should look. You should be able to see the eggs nice and easy on the side. As you can see, I can easily monitor all my eggs. Now you can't see as well, but it's in there. So that's all strategic Aloise. And the next part is up to you. Uh, the top of it. You can cover that up or you can leave it open. If you do cover it up, you need to give it very loose dirt. And if you don't cover it up, keep the lid on there at all times and make sure no moisture or if moist let moisture escape, but uh very minimal because that's how they can easily dry out. And this is proven to be effective because I've raised strategic aloeus before. So, yeah, that's just about it. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.